this is Amy Wiswell with Teaching with Mrs. Wiswell and today we're back in my classroom for setup day I want to say nine but it could be ten so I'll clarify um, regardless it's been a lot of days and I did come in one day and didn't video because I just didn't really accomplish a lot um, and it looks like I haven't accomplished anything so I just want to touch base. I'm going to put in a few hours tonight and um, we're getting there slowly but surely. Um, yeah, I can't even really show you the room because honestly, I mean, I'll show it to you, but it looks the same as it's looked for every video so far. I just keep moving the messes. So like I would clear off a set of tables and then I would pile up the tables. But I do know that it's moving because my to-do list, I have things crossed off of it. I need to add a lot to it, but I do have things crossed off, so I'm doing something. Um, so my bulletin boards are like kind of up, not really. So that's a scan of the room. So yeah, I will... Uh, you updated on how much progress I make tonight. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm not making much headway. Um, I'm going to make some labels and do some sit down work instead of some sweaty work. And I'm going to watch some of my favorite YouTubers. That was Miss Calls Campers. Um, she really Hi guys, so I made some serious gains in my classroom. I just finished prepping this project, which is the flat teacher project. I got it off a of TPT. And don't you wish it was easy enough to clone yourself as it is to make your Bitmoji 12 times? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna send that out on Monday. And I, I think it's a really neat idea, basically, you send a note to the parents and the students and you tell them that you want to go on an adventure like Flat Stanley and um, then they can email you a picture of your Bitmoji and them doing an activity and a little note and then you can write them back. It's just a way to do, have some back and forth and I'm just curious to see who will participate and who won't. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited to hear from some of them, and I know not everybody can do it, but hopefully the majority of them will. So there's that. Um, my room is really like starting to take shape. So I have a bulletin board up, I hung up my birthdays, I am currently laminating things to go up on my bulletin boards. That's still a mess. My library is basically done. I need to fill that bookshelf, but... Um, our class family, amazing student coming soon is done. So I really feel good. I feel like I'm actually making some gains um, where I hadn't really felt that way. So I'm gonna continue while I have the energy and keep plugging away. I'll talk to you later, bye. Hi there. It's Amy Wiswell with Teaching with Mrs. Wiswell, and today is day 11 of classroom setup. If it feels like a lot of days, it's because it is. Um, partly because I'm not spending full days here. Um, partly because when I'm here, sometimes I'm doing classwork for school. Um, I'm getting my master's. Sometimes it's because I'm planning for summer school. So my time here is kind of splotchy. Um, but my room is really coming along. Like I could get it done in a day or two if I had to. Um, but I'm kind of paying attention to details and redoing labels and, and creating things that didn't work last year so that they work better this year and things like that. So, um, I'm lucky that I get to be in my classroom this early, so it's not a mad dash at the end of the summer, um, you know, two days before school starts. So today, 
I'm going to be um, doing some work on my Cricut, making some um, things for my boards, and um, yeah, so I will check in with you later. All right, bye. Hi there, it's Amy Wiswell with Teaching with Mrs. Wiswell. And today we're back in my classroom. I honestly don't know what day of setup it is. <clears throat> I think it's day 11, but it could be day 12. Um, I know I said this yesterday and I haven't loaded the video to figure it out, but um, I'll try to make sense of it when I load the video clips. Um, so I'm here, it, my room's really coming along. I hung up some things on my boards and um, just doing like last minute stuff. I got to send out my flat teacher activity um, and just really clean up and get it set. So um, my timeline's looking fantastic um, and I'm feeling really good. So uh, I will bring you along with me today on what I do and I'll just touch base with you in a little bit. Thanks. Bye. Hi there, it's Amy Wiswell with Teaching with Mrs. Wiswell, and guess where we are? Back in my classroom for what day? I still don't know. I think it's day 11. I have Mr. Wiswell here with me today. Say hi. Hello, folks. He's doing some spray painting for me and vacuuming, and because we're kind of getting to that point where we're going to put the finishing touches on. Or at least I am. I'm at that point. All right, I'll check in with you later. Bye. Hi there, this is Amy Wiswell with Teaching with Mrs. Wiswell. And I'm back in my classroom. I can't even pretend to tell you what day it is because I don't know. It's been a lot of days and I've lost track. So I'm just gonna do like, it in sections and volume one, volume two, volume three, <laughs> because I honestly have no idea what day it is. If I had to guess, I would say it's day 13, but it could be day 14 because I did come in and didn't film a couple days. I didn't stay long. Um, it was coming together. And then I watched Early Adventures with Shelly and she talked about her pile and I decided to try that because I think I was fooling myself thinking that the room was coming together and I just had stuff kind of spread everywhere. So I made a pile. So I moved some desks and I um, kind of took stuff that was just on top of desks, on top of my kidney table, a rainbow table, on top of on top of on top of counters <laughs> um, in piled high and I made a pile and it's not even everything I left the student supplies that I'm labeling on the counter and um, but I made a pile I'm gonna show you the pile so there's my pile um, it's pretty impressive. So I'm gonna work on putting all that back in its home or find a home for it 
Um, yeah, that's my goal for right now. So I'm gonna, um, well, first I'm gonna finish labeling student stuff because I, if I do that, I can put it in their desks and have a bunch of stuff in its home. Um, notebooks, folders, because we supply all that. That's in our budget. So I'm going to do that. It seems a little backwards because it's, but it needs to be done and it'll help get a, rid of some clutter. And then I'm going to work on the pile. So I will take you along with me and we'll see what I get done. Wiswell with Teaching with Mrs. Wiswell and today we're back in my classroom for day setup. I don't know. I still don't know. I think it's day 14. I don't know. I gave up. Um, and uh, yeah, it's really coming together. I made a lot of progress yesterday and um, I just, I labeled all the kids belongings all their books, all their binders, all their folders, all their, I made the caddies, I did their pencil boxes, I did their taps, I did everything. So I feel really good about that. It took a lot of time, but I kind of didn't feel like being like physically, I wasn't physically motivated so to like clean my and organize my classroom. So I sat and designed and made all those, which is great. I can't show you them because they all have names on them, but, um, I did want to show you this that I got for 80% off today at Michael's. Um, I don't want to tell you how much I paid for everything else, but this plant and the stand cost me $11, originally $55. So that was quite the score. Um, so yeah, so I am... Um, gonna get back at it. I still have that big pile in my room. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. So yeah, I'm gonna deal with that. But everything's really coming along. I feel really, really good. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. So I might be obsessed with these new book bin labels I just whipped up. I'm so loving them. I'm sorry for the glare, but they're going to look great. Hi there, it's Amy 
with Teacher Good Mrs. Wiswell, and today I am back in my classroom. I've actually been here for about five hours. Um, I am making bracelets um, for back to school um, for a couple friends. They're the bracelets, you've probably seen them on Instagram. Um, our class is a family bracelets, and you just do the colored beads and the grade. So I've been working on those. I have jewelry glue all over me. Um, but now it's time to put in some hours in my classroom. So I'm switching gears. I still have a big pile on the floor. Um, it's smaller, but it's still there. Um, I'm gonna put the kids' um, materials in their desks to clear off those surfaces, which will make the room look a little bit neater. And um, we're really kind of getting down to the nitty gritty. I mean, I still have a pretty long to-do list, but it's all just little stuff that's going to all come together as I, you know, put the pile away and, you know, sit down and start making materials and things like that. So, um, yeah, I think I will put you on fast forward while I do a little cleaning and we will see how much I get done. I have to say, I like the idea of the pile. The concept is good. I don't think you're supposed to leave the pile there for a week. So I might've missed that part, um, but I do like everything being there, but I find myself like shopping the pile or adding to the pile or, um, so I don't know. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it another try for sure when things get messy, um, because it is kind of nice just having it all in one spot as opposed to every surface, but, um, it makes the whole room look messy because there's this big pile in the middle of the room. My principal is like, what are you doing? Um, but it's gonna all get done. So no worries. All right, I will see you in a little bit. Bye. Amy Wiswell with Teaching with Mrs. Wiswell. And today I'm back in my classroom, but I have big news. My pile is gone. So that's super exciting. So I am here, I'm working on some bulletin boards and getting some things done. And um, I thought I'd take you along with me. All right, see you in a bit. Bye. I just made this interactive bulletin board. Um, it's a bulletin board a month, I believe. It's all SEL topics. Uh, if I remember, I'll try to link it below. Um, so it's trade of the month and for the month of September, we're gonna do kindness. It has a mantra, which I think is great. So we'll talk about what that is. Um, that might be their first vocabulary word. It has a quote and then it has um, shout outs so they can give a shout out to someone that's being kind um, and then we'll read them on Friday afternoons. So I'm super excited. I think it came out really great. 
I'm not sure what's gonna go next to it, but I didn't wanna waste the space. So there you go. Hi there, it's Amy Wiswell with Teaching with Mrs. Wiswell. And you guessed it, I'm back in my classroom for day, I don't know, of classroom setup. So I got a lot done yesterday <clears throat> and I just kind of wanted to walk you through the room and show you um, how much progress has been made. Like if school st were to start on Monday, I would feel okay. I mean, I have nothing planned, but I feel okay with my room. <laughs> and I still have about two more weeks. So there's obviously it's not done, but um, I'm in a good place. So um, <clears throat> I still have all my stuff from underneath my sink. They haven't fixed my sink, so it's all just in a pile which is super stressful for some reason. Um, I have my SEL board up, which is awesome. I have my like, you know, leader and date and all that information up. I'm doing points this year for classroom management, whole group, so students versus me. Um, I made new signs for our bathroom and water drink and help needed. Uh, so yeah, it's really come along. There's still piles and stuff around, but compared to what it was, I've made a lot of progress. So, yep. So the biggest thing I'm gonna to do today is I'm changing the way I file. So I'm trying to go digital the majority of the time, but I still have a love for paper. So currently I store all my materials in file boxes up <clears throat> top of my cabinets. I have them for the months of the year and then each subject category. And some subjects have multiple bins. And it's just kind of cumbersome and it's full of stuff that I don't really use because the, in theory, I don't get to everything. So I'm gonna switch to a binder system, a binder a month. And um, the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna have them grow with me. So this year I'll use the bins but everything I use, I'll put into the binder. And then whatever's left in the bins, I'll go through and decide keep or save. 99.9% .9 of it I have on my laptop or Google Drive. So it doesn't need to be three places. It doesn't need to, be, so I just, yeah. So that's my plan for that. So I'm gonna work on making the covers and spines for that today. I picked up the binders last night. Um, and kind of go from there and um yeah and that'll probably end this grouping of classroom setups but i'll try to remember to check back in and show you the finished binders all right talk to you soon bye